Hello and welcome back Buckpoll viewers. I am David and today I'm going to be showing you one of the best tricks I know for corn and making corn as attractive as possible for deer hunting. Um, this is part of our 14 baits in 14 days series that we plan on doing. So I'm pre-recording all these before I show them all to you guys. I want to try to get them all set up so I can actually put 14 videos together in 14 days, but I work a real job like most of you guys do, so I have to record a couple each night in order to get them all together and then edit all that fun stuff. But let's get done with that. This is all about the deer bait. First of all, you're going to need a gallon bucket. Um, the reason I'm using a gallon bucket is because in Wisconsin you're only allowed two gallons of bait. Um, at a baiting site at any time so I usually mix these up and I have them all set up ready to go and then I can just take two of them in the woods with me dump them out where I need the bait to be at or where I want the bait at and then I turn around and I just pack them back out and reuse them over and over um, other states where you don't have the limits or your limits are different uh, five gallon pails work as well. Um, I've actually mixed up this mixture in a 55 gallon drum. The trick is with this mixture, if you mix it up in that big a quantity, make sure you seal it. Because if you don't seal it, you will run into problems. Um, first and foremost, you're going to need one of Deer's favorite baits, and that's just plain old corn. I'll throw a scoop in there. I've got my corn and my product standing by on hand so I throw in a cup of corn and then I throw in about half to three quarters of a cup of dried molasses um, this is the stock molasses that you can buy at like a feed store I think I pay about ten dollars for a 50 pound bag all it is is molasses and roughage product like a like a grain roughage stuff along that lines I mean this I keep pretty well stored and you can still see it's clumping so the last thing you're going to want to do is have a big mess of that clumping up and all I do is I just keep layering it back and forth like this until I have it completely filled up to the top of the bucket and then when I have it completely filled up I try to mix it around and I seal it up and this trick is literally as simple as mixing two products together like this and the sugary sweetness helps quite a bit with attracting the deer from the molasses and the corn's carbohydrates work really good especially in early fall for giving deer the carbohydrates they need to get through the fall and be able to thrive during those fall months where they need a lot of energy um, they're trying to pack on a lot of weight while carbohydrates are basically sugar so if they're packing on a lot of sugary weight that's kind of good for them um, they should have some protein as well but literally all I do is I just take this and I'll mix it up I'll throw a lid on there and I'll store it and it's literally as simple as that guys I mean you can see some of the molasses in there already so it's literally that simple. You put this down, the deer will not only eat the corn up, they will turn around and they will tear up the ground to get to the molasses that you have in here. So, that is my trick for today. And I hope you guys uh, like, comment, subscribe always helps too. So, thank you for tuning in and you guys have a great day.